Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday and I hope everyone had a blessed week. You're here this morning. Yesterday is past and tomorrow is too far, but live for today. You are here for a reason. You are blessed. God is not done with you. And today I want to talk about contentment and I want to lead with the scripture, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. A lot of us love this scripture. You know, it's one of my favorites and I think we all interpret um, this different ways and we, we, we view it, you know, that God is only to, able to strengthen me when he gave me strength, when he gave me power. You know, I'm only able to be content, you know, when things are going good, but I'm here to tell you that no, you know, being able to be content is even when things are ugly, bad, or indifferent, you know, God is going to come through, you know, I encourage you guys to seek God in the midst of your circumstances, what it is that you know, you looking for, you know, in your situation? Are you looking for the lesson or are you allowing the situation to get the best of you? You know, all of all of us have to go through dirt. You know, we have to go through trials and, and tribulations. We have to get dirt on us. So stop tripping. You know, don't trip when you got to go through necessary trials that's going to help you in the end. You know, a lot of times we pout and, you know, we so naive to, you know, the lesson we can gain from things. You know, take a second and think about Everything that you wanted and God didn't give it to you or, you know, he it took time for him to give it, get it to you. You know, when you, 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 you boasted, you, you was mad and finally, you know, when he gave it to you or when you got past that situation, you was able to see like, dang, if I would have got that, this would have happened, this would have happened. You know, thank you, God, you know, for not taking me through this or thank you, God, for not giving me this. You know, John 13, 7 says, right now you might not understand, but later you would and a lot of the times we find ourselves in those situations where we think we know what's best for us, but when God finally shows us in the end, we sit back and we look back like, man, I was tripping or, you know, dang, you know, I did too much there. Or really everything worked out in your favor. You know, just think about a seed. You know, we all are like seeds. You know, we got to go through dirt. When a seed is in the dirt, you know, it's still getting dirty, but it's still getting the nutrients, you know, from the soil. It's still getting the things that it need in order to blossom and bloom and become that tree. You know what I'm saying? And if we view it like that, that everything we're going through, you know, is preparing us, you know, for what it is that we want. You know what I'm saying? And think of a diamond. You know, a diamond have to go through extremely amount of pressure, you know, just to be appealing to the eye, just to shine and glisten and, 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 and get your attention. But through all that pressure that the diamond is go through in the end, it still come out beautiful. It still come out shining and glistening, you know, like, like never before. So go through everything that you got to go through, you know, be content, you know, you can do whatever it is that you think you can't do. Even when you're down, you know, dance in your desert, live like nothing, you know, is, is going on bad in your life because God is a provider. He will come through in the end. How many times has he done it? You know, when you've been naive and you've been, you know, selfish and looking at your situation for what it is and he still showed you different and you was like, oh wow, okay, he did come through. You know, Matthew six twenty five says, the birds do not reap nor sow, but the God, he still provide for them. You know, and I sat back and I thought about that, like, birds get everything from the natural resource. You know what I'm saying? They get things from the ground, the dirt. You know, God still provides for them you know, through his natural resources, even though they don't harvest and, and save things and store things for the winter, you know, they still able to eat, you know what I'm saying? The clothes, um, the clothes that, that are placed on the, on, on the flowers, you know, flowers go through many seasons, you know, they go through winter, spring, summer, and fall, but through all of those seasons, through all that dirt that's on them, through all the, the rain and the coldness and the heat, you know, they still able to blossom and bloom and get everything they need through those seasons and still come out as a tree, you know, still come out with trunk strong. So I encourage you guys to be content, you know, know that even in the worst situation that God is going to provide, that he's looking, that he's in the midst, you know, even when he quiet, you know, or, or you think he's not there, you know, all he doing is allowing you to grow, giving you time to seek him, you know, giving you time to look to him and see what it is he want you to do. You know, don't think about what it is God can give you because through his will and through you doing what he wants you to do, he will provide all of those things. So be content, you know, dance in your desert. You know, the best moment for God to bless you is in your weakest moments because you have nothing to turn to. You know, you have nobody to turn to. 
but him. So take that time to seek God. Get to know yourself. Know who you are. The devil doesn't want you to know that you can be content. He want to throw at your circumstances at you. He want to throw the things that you can see at you. You know, so you can not count on God. So you can um, go against God's will and who he is. But stand firm. Fight the good fight. Be content. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Whether it's up, down, bad, indifferent, or good. You know, stand firm and fight the good fight. Be blessed. Thank you, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend. Thank you.